Hey guys, I'm Dubai Zope here. Welcome back to the channel. And iOS 14.5 is nearly to be released by Apple here in just a few days. And of course, we're all excited for the new software. There's great improvements, new features. There's good news overall, but there's also some bad news for some iOS users. And I'll explain myself here in just a few seconds. Now, in case you did not know, iOS 15 developer beta 1 is expected in 57 days as of the filming of this video on June 7th. 2021 WWDC kicks off and if history is any indication that's when we see the first glance at the next major update. Now we're about 57 days away from that and Apple will soon be releasing iOS 14.5 which means soon Apple will be pouring all their efforts, new features and every focus until iOS 15. Now don't get me wrong we may see additional updates for iOS 14 here until iOS 15 is released because iOS 15, the final version, will not be out at least in the next couple of months, five to six months or so. So keep in mind, there'll still be software updates for iOS 14, but there's sad news as well because this software represents a lot of things for some devices. Now, as we know, iOS 14 is at its end of its major software improvements because it's been a while already. It's been about seven months since the software has been out. iOS 15 is expected in the next five to six months. And as I mentioned, Apple will be pouring a lot of their efforts over into iOS 15, which means we're excited for a ton of new features, but there's also some devices that will be most likely left behind. And this could very well be the last and final update for these devices that you see right here. Now, as I mentioned, iOS 14 will most likely see software updates until we see iOS 15, but I don't believe we'll see additional new features and improvements to iOS 14 unless it's a security patch or something like that until iOS 15 gets released here in the fall of 2021. So what do these three devices share in common? Well, time and processing power. So these carry the Apple A9 processor. It's been about five years of support, which is typically what Apple offers for iPhones, and this year is that year. Now, I hope I'm wrong. I hope these devices are supported by iOS 15, but we'll find out in 57 days. But if not, which I presume they will not be, iOS 14.5 is the last major update with new features for the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, the iPhone SE first in generation, which is a bit of a bummer. Honestly, every time I see uh, older devices die off, it's kind of sad, but it is an exciting piece of software. Apple, if this is the end of these devices in terms of new features, overall and improvements, then Apple has done a great job with these devices so far. iOS 14.5 is still struggling on the SE first generation, but aside from that, there's just a ton of awesome features built into iOS 14. So these devices will most likely continue to get software updates, minor software updates, and overall security patches as we see with iOS 12 devices. But as I mentioned, in terms of major new features improvements, that is now going to be pushed over to iOS 15. I don't see any major changes happening in iOS 14 from here on out. Now, I do have to say iOS 14.5 will be packed with awesome new features for all devices, but it is a little bit sad to see that this could very well be the last update for iPhone SE first generation, the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6S Plus. These are awesome devices, but yeah, great news overall, but I wanted to share that with you guys because every time there's older devices that sort of ended their life cycle, I guess you can call it, it's kind of sad to see them go. Of course, I'll be holding on to these devices. Again, iOS 14.5 is towards its end of major features coming to iOS 14, and uh, hopefully we'll see this soon here in the next couple of days. Apple will most likely be releasing this software to the general public. Thank you for watching this quick video, guys, and say goodbye to these devices, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.